All right, good morning for good morning and welcome to Off the Press. Thanks for joining us this morning. And this is the program where, of course, we talk about the headlines, dissect it, make sense of it. And with me to do so this morning is uh, Mr. Bolaho Olojede, public affairs analyst, and of course, Dr. Idu Adegoki. Um, welcome to Off the Press this morning, and we have plenty of stories to look at. We shall begin with the Nation newspaper. Um, I don't know why the Nation, but well, let's begin with the no, Nation newspaper. I thought we're going to, no, 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 sorry, I have the Punch newspaper. I beg your pardon. We're beginning with the Punch newspaper, guys. And it says, Labor suspends plan strike. Talks continue today. That story is on page two. Workers demand documents as federal government hike salary adjustments. Lagos will pay more than 30,000 naira, says Governor Sonwolu. That story is on page two. I know why we're beginning with the punch now. Uh, there's that bit of good news there. Air Force Wing's first female fighter pilot. Uh, there's a picture story of it there. I'm sure it will be displayed very soon for you. Yes, displayed already. Thank you. And that's on page seven. Court hears Shawares prayer on tough bill terms on Monday. That's on page 12. It's shameful. Daura controls presidential villa, according to Afeni Ferry. And that's on page 10. Pension assets hit 9.4 trillion naira. Pencom calls for vigilance. And that's on page 30. Um, then fire me six federal government's approval to toll Ado Akure Highway. That's on page 42. And families kick as Lagos as only rates dismissed killer cults. That's on page four and f pages four and five uh, of the Punch newspaper. FCT three children abducted, two killed. Lawan meets service chiefs minister on worsening insecurity. That story, those stories, you find them on pages 12 and 19 of the Punch newspaper. And the top there, uh, border closure pushed inflation to 11.2 percent. That's according to MBS on page 27. And five seats threatens a federal government 62 billion naira recovery from IOCs. That's on page 11 with a picture of the president there. And 45 billion naira bus purchase. Ex commissioner faces panel indicts Ambody. And that's on page 10. IMF recommends unified exchange rate for Nigeria. That's on page 23. You can find it there. And FG's debt rises to 25.7 trillion naira. That's on page 28. So, over to you. Where do we start from? Start from somewhere. <laughs> uh, at the very top, it says border closure. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's pushed the inflation to 11.2 percent. That's according to the Bureau of Statistics. Uh, it's, it's expected uh, because the food inflation is uh, is an important component of the general inflation figure that we have. Mm -hmm. And when we are in a situation in which um, there's border closure, so there are no movement or restricted movement of goods. I think it's total closure now, anyway, nothing. Yeah, uh, so it's meant to come in or go out. So if there are food items that are brought in from outside of the country and they cannot enter, well, what that will mean is that there will now be more people we'll chasing fewer us. goods. Mm -hmm. Price will automatically go up. It's, it's, a, it's very basic uh, uh, economics. Um, how, how we now manage this process uh, as we transit from the short to the medium term mm -hmm. uh, will, will, will be a major issue for us. Uh, right. Uh, we're going to have an issue. Yeah, I agree with that one. because demand and supply. So it's basic. Mm -hmm. we, we don't want to, the problem in Nigeria is we don't want to give anything to enjoy. We have to go through this process. It was mentioned yesterday. At a point, China closed their border. Mm -hmm. And then we have to give something to benefit. And maybe this should fuel more production in terms of... Yes, you know, that's, why, that's why I think that's what he was saying. If, if the US medium needs. and the long term. Mm. Yes. Yes. It's how we it's manage it in the medium and the long term. Okay, so we'll go through this phase hopefully. Um, all right, there's something on the bus purchase. Did anybody see it? And uh, well, it's, it's an emerging story. Well, let's see how it plays out uh, uh, finally at the end of the day. It, mm -hmm. it, it, it portends uh, to be messy. It has. As go, but nobody has heard anything from anybody. Just yet. And it becomes uh, funny if you start making judgment calls when you've only heard one, one side, side of the of story. story. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, shall we talk about this? The Air Force thing, we should say something about it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, the good <laughs> news. Yes. And the, by the way, that's why we started off with the, with the, the punch. punch newspaper. Yeah. Yes. So, you have the picture of some two cute ladies mm -hmm. who, are, who are being winked. Winking is a ceremony in, in, uh, in the Air Force. Okay. You know, so the two of them. You called it wind or winged? 
Air Force wings. Okay. Oh, okay. So they so added that, that winging thing is, oh, okay. is a ceremony that they do. It's like you're, you're cutting your teeth as as a fighter pilot. I mean, it's a bit you of good news so it's, it's a ceremony. Nice, nice one. Mm -hmm. um, we have started something. We are uh, headed somewhere. What, what men can do. Yeah, women maybe can women do. Can if do I much. <laughs> did you say maybe? <laughs> no, did you say maybe? Just say it completely. Okay, women can do. Yeah, can do as well. It's a bit mm -hmm. of it's, it's it's a it's good news. It's yes, good, it's yes. good news, and we should. It's, we it's a first. Don't forget. It's the first in five before. years. Mm -hmm. And then there was, there's Garba. There's another Garba who also after was she's part of it. We read it also in the news. So yeah. it is good to see that uh, you know women are being recognized in this uh, sort of places. Yes, in sixty in fifty five years of Nigeria. Air Force in 1964. This is the first, first time. It's huge. Women uh, pi fighter pilots. But would you fly? Would you get into? Uh, they are. They are. They are would, you, would, you, would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Will I be? If yes. I'm trained as a pilot, yeah, as a they are, pilot, they that's are my job. trained to fight. As a matter of fact. They are excited. The excitement of a fighter pilot yes. is to get in a fighter jet and, and fight. do the thing. Yes. That's the excitement. This is huge. We must <laughs> I, re I read the story yeah. and they're saying they're deploying them straight to the Northeast. Really? Yeah. This is good Because news. that's what they're trained for. Mm -hmm. We're happy to hear that. I mean, I'm happy to associate with this, this women, this yeah, gentle and the, women Another here. thing is that in the last four or five years, I read this story. Um, this kind of news should be bring out, uh, brought out. To the um, more frequent. Mm -hmm. Over 100 uh, pi, fi, um, five pilots five. have been trained. Female, or you mean? In yeah. general. Okay, this general. present one, they're 13, is just two of them wow. that are ladies. So we need to, they need to bring out this so that we know they're doing so much mm -hmm. to fight this insurgency. Yeah, and there's so still nice. more trainings going on. Mm -hmm. And they, they were trained outside the country. One was trained in South Africa, the other one was trained in the US. So these are the kind of good news that we need to know, mm. so that we know that, okay, there's hope. Mm. There is hope, absolutely. So congratulations to the women, yeah? You want to talk about labor? Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have Lib to talk about labor. Yes, we very, have very, to. very important. They are there again, so. Yeah, it, it was easy to see yesterday. I mean, I was analyzing this somewhere yesterday about the fact that when you have two parties with extremely different, there's a wide gap between their positions yeah. where labor stood as far as consequential adjustment is concerned vis-a-vis -vis where the government stood it's obvious that if we don't want this thing to become an industrial uh, uh, strike or whatever you call it mm -hmm. we must reach a middle and i believe that along the line both of them are giving ways so that we can arrive at something mm -hmm. that prevents the strike the mm -hmm. economy is very fragile it cannot really absorb any extended uh, 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 disruption as it is right now. Otherwise, uh, we mess things up mm -hmm. more than it currently is. Yeah, but mm -hmm. how about the, the issue of you know the the, the NLC saying, mm -hmm. well, we are not aware of this strike. So now it, it looks like there's a division. If they're not, there speaking, is a division. There's always a division. So, so <laughs> in how, the, in NLC. how are they going to achieve anything? Well. You know? Uh, uh, is it a strategy? Because once you sow division in the midst of people, <laughs> that, I, I mean. I, I it's was, all, it's all part of the game. It's all part of the but game. That's uh, a, a negotiating party could sow division in the house of the other party because he, he, he weakens the bargaining power mm. and makes them to be able to come to an agreement faster. That is possible. I'm not saying that that is what happened mm. in this particular case because Labour who not even conduct his own affairs in the past. Mm -hmm. They both had elections that were mm -hmm. disrupted. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, so when they come out and say, I neck did not conduct election, I'm like, Mm, how, many, how many were you people that were conducting elections that you couldn't even handle and you had the guts to say some people could not conduct elections properly? Mm. You know? So the division has always been there. That, that's, that's the truth. But I hope yeah, we arrive today. at a junction that will be acceptable to labor mm -hmm. because labor has waited for so long. To be fair. And also, accept, uh, you know, and also something like government will be able to pay. It goes beyond just reaching an agreement. There mm -hmm. is the execution side of this agreement mm -hmm. when you have to actually bring the out crucial. the money mm -hmm. and pay. So we must balance those uh, 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 things. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the most crucial, you know, the part of execution. Uh, but anyways, Lagos says they're happy to pay more than 30,000 uh, of the money. So yeah, if you read the story, uh, they're going to pay, no matter how little, they'll pay above mm. 30,000. That's what he's saying. But I read somewhere again that Lagos is going out to get um, a loan of about 
250 billion. <laughs> so um, you're on one side wondering. So I don't. <laughs> okay, if you're getting the loan, because we know the whole country has become a loanee. And then we are borrowing. There's a to, syndrome. Learning yeah, syndrome yeah we're, 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 we're borrowing to survive or to live. But we need to know what you want to do with that loan. Mm. That's my appeal to the government. You don't just take loan and then the people are going to pay back not knowing what you're doing with it. Mm -hmm. All right, sorry. In the interest of time, we'll leave. I know there are some other things, but we'll encourage you to get the papers as always and then get everything. So we'll move to the Nation newspaper. And on the top of the Nation newspaper, Oshomale uh, Obaseki plot will fail. That's according to Oshomale, governor in charge. Uh, you find that story on page 8. It's already displayed there on your screen. And then 847 soldiers buried in Army Cemetery. That's on page 7. Senator, let's end insurgency. Now, battle over loud tech rages on, or your Oshun lawmakers to meet. That story again is on page 42 of the Nation newspaper. And then Bayosa and Kogi 2019, defection of 10 members can't hurt PDP, says Dixon. INEC worried over inciting statements in Bayosa, and the Bellows team faults disqualification call. This and more you'll find on page 10 of the Nation newspaper. And then we have uh, Emir Fede, the picture of Emir Fede there, and then the story of IMF faults forex uh, restrictions on 43 items as hurting investments. That story is on the front page, uh, but it's continued on page seven and it's seeking for uniform exchange rate. And then ready for the insurgents, a cross-section of Nigerian Air Force, a new pilot during the winging ceremony. Uh, so we have a picture story, well, all male here. Uh, that's from yesterday. Now, Ngige, government can't meet labor's wage, uh, wage demand. That's the story, the big story for the Nation newspaper. So you can see it's there. And then they offer seven to nine, uh, grade seven to nine to get 17%, according to the federal government. And then 10 to 14, 15%, 15 to 17, 12%. But Labour is saying no. Seven to 14, 24%, 15 to 17, 20%. And that's where the argument lies. I, I guess they will arrive at a junction mm -hmm. at, at some point that is acceptable. They will to come to parties. a middle ground. Yes, hopefully. because both parties are aware of the consequences of mm -hmm. not being able to do that. If I promise more than I can deliver is a problem when it comes to execution. That's correct. And then for the other guys too, we've been on this for like a year, mm -hmm. we should at least get something, something that we can take back to our people and say, this is it. Mm -hmm. You know, so we, we should be able to do that. It, it becomes even more important in the face of the perceived, should I call it injustice? Mm -hmm. when, when you look at this certain segment of the political class, for example, the National Assembly, and, and, and I learned the ministers and all their entourage as well, mm. uh, and, and aides upon aides at the presidency and all those other things, and even at the mini various MDAs. Uh, people were like, what did you call them? How, how can these people get this much? And we can't even lobby for this. Yeah, the contrast. You know, so, yes, so it, it comes to that point where I think we should be asking for some sacrifice, mm. even on the part of the some leaders. of these political leaders. Yes, yeah. when people see that, it makes it easier to build trust. You can't be holding on to your own and getting fatter and asking me to be the one to make sacrifice, make sacrifice all the, all time. the time. That is not leadership. Yeah, sure. whereas you go to the same markets, really, so to speak, generally speaking, you know, uh, yeah, things it, it's, are... It's not the way to, 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 the way. to lead. Yeah. Having okay. said that, um, I've, I've become an apostle of the state of revenue in, in, in Nigeria, which yeah. to say the revenue in itself is horrible. If you don't pay NAS one naira at all, take that their budget and, and cancel it or allocate it to labor. You still cannot pay this wage that mm. we're talking about. So we have to bake a bigger cake. We cannot continue at this 10 trillion naira budget. Yeah. It doesn't cut it. It doesn't. We have to bake a bigger yeah, cake. Let me quickly add to that because okay, yesterday, I think Sawolu and the labor wing of Lagos State mm -hmm. had a meeting. And they were, um, after promising that Lagos State would pay the uh, above 30,000 minimum, minimum wage, wage yeah. the Labour actually made something that I have always said. The informal sector, they were saying they're going to come up with a strategy mm -hmm. for Lagos State to be able to tax, like he, say, he was saying, that's more revenue for the mm, state, for the state, from the informal sector, mm -hmm. which is what we need to look at. I mean, if there's a joint collaboration, yes, there will be a middle ground. You know, people will be able to shift from this end and the government shift from it's this a, It's end. a trust thing. Yeah, and then we'll If I trust results. you, that if I give you my money, you will, will use it results. for my convenience. I will mm. see it. And that's very key. Nigerians, for a long time, have not trusted their government. 
or have mm. not seen reason to, to trust your maybe. Like, more, more like that. Yeah. <laughs> just maybe. All right. Okay. So we have the same, no, not the same story. So we have moved on from there. Senate President decries Paul Rhodes. What? what? <laughs> okay. He goes back again to that revenue, abysmal revenue generation by the country. Now, if all, if you, our entire budget is ten trillion. Have you seen the capex for for Ministry of Works? It's mm -hmm. about two hundred and sixty-one billion naira. Two hundred and sixty-one billion. Um, just let, let me get very simplistic. I know this analogy is simplistic. Lagos Ibadan, the Lagos to Shagamu interchange is estimated at, at one thirty-four billion. Mm -hmm. So the entire stretch will actually be about billion. other things being equal. Let's even say two seventy billion for the entire stretch. Lagos Ibadan. That amount is more than the entire budget of Federal Ministry of Works for this year. So if the only assignment for Federal Ministry of Works this year is to do Lagos Ibadan, mm -hmm. he cannot deliver it. Oh. How so? Ah, yeah. So it goes to say how much we really have as revenue as a country. We need results in this country. <laughs> <laughs> we need answers very quickly. So um, we're going to this day now uh, in the interest of time. IMF backs CBN's monetary policy to grow economy, restates a need for reforms to boost lower per capita income. Uh, WEO says GDP growth to remain lackluster in 2019. And that's on the fourth page. Experts blame flooding others as inflation rebounds to 11.24%. Uh, that's on page eight. Find out what this is about, really. <laughs> flooding. Yeah, this time. flooding. Uh, Army challenges in Dume to prove 847 soldiers lost to insurgency. That number is huge. Masari Tambua seeks subvention of Northwest governors to end banditry. That's on the front page, as you can see, already displayed there, but it's continued on page five also. To avert strike, federal government makes labor a new offer. Negotiations continue today. Today. All right, that's on the front page and it's continued on page five. And the Police Service Commission uh, insists fresh police recruitment is illegal. That's on page five. There seems to be a battle going on there. And then we have the uh, picture of uh, the Minister of Aviation and uh, giving, handing out that award to uh, the President on improvement of aviation security and whatever. Okay, find out what this is about on the front page. Yes, uh, do we say really 847? Soldiers. I, I, I listened to the man when he was uh, saying this on the floor of the house. And from what he said, he actually went to the place yeah. where they were buried. It wasn't as if he cooked up figures. Yeah. So I'm wondering why the army is challenging that. Hmm. It shouldn't be a challengeable he said he, he, number. He, he was not only one that went there. Where, no, when, so. yeah, and there were several places where they still bury uh, the So there late. could be more than that? Yes, yeah, that's what he was saying, but the one they counted. I mean, that's, that's an indication. And he made very serious positive comments in favor of army. Them, to yeah. say that they don't do the, mass burials, they, they, they account discount, for all yeah, their bodies for. and all, all, all that stuff. Yes. I, I think that if I were the army, I will, my emphasis would be on that positive side mm. and not doubting the figures. Because he said he went to the place. Oh, my goodness. All right, uh, in the interest of time, sorry, we are almost <laughs> running at a very fast pace, I know. Uh, we'll go to Vanguard now, because we still have the complete spots. And then it says, hot words as Oshomale Obaseki's feud worsens. He's jealous of my soaring popularity, says Oshomale. Okay. Once a police CP against being used, Obaseki observed protocol when visiting, stop using thugs. Uh, war of words there indeed. You will see that story. It's a big story on Vanguard newspaper. And at the top, we have failed economic reforms. I'll take Nigeria 200 years. It will rather take Nigeria 200 years to meet half of USA's living standard. That's according to IMF. All of us would have been gone by then. 200 years. I don't understand. That's on page. Oh, you think you will still be here in 200 no, years? No, oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, I don't agree. It you don't agree with this? Oh, yeah. okay. I don't see that. Okay, well, so we'll come to that. Uh, division in labor, I see us the pool out of plan strike. We talked about it. That's on page nine. How to save Nigeria. Anya, Kola, Detinubu and others tells us how. And then Kaduna to outlaw al Majuri system in 2020. That's next year. A couple of months anyways. That's on page 13. Inflat infl inflationary pressures, uh, pressures mount as food prices rise. And December is just by the way, by the corner. That's on page 19. And then federal government uh, doesn't play politics with security. According to Lai Mohammed. find out what that is about on page 8. Lagos is ready to pay above 30,000 minimum wage according to the governor of Lagos 
State, and CBN spends 101 billion naira uh, to print naira notes in two years, according to a report. Why federal government stopped states from rehabilitating federal roads, according to FIME? Uh, would say grab a copy, but then why did you say you doubt? Um, Dr. Idowu, you doubt no. I am. Yeah, no, uh, I said I do not course. agree. You do not agree. Yeah, it's this such statement you only spur us to begin to be serious. They are saying that because of our present situation. Okay. But that doesn't mean in another four years we'll be where we are. So, oh, so I need to understand. It didn't take China 200 years when mm -hmm. they became serious, mm -hmm. when they had a projected way of the way they wanted to go. Okay, you're saying this is going to have a positive impact on oh, it us. Should, it should. Oh, it should shake it us. Should wake charge us up and sleep. And say, no, charge we're not taking up. that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you also don't agree? Yeah, that, it, it makes sense. Um, it makes sense that we'll wake up from slumber. Well, I hope we do so. We've not. We've been asleep for 50, 60 years, so maybe we'll wake up at some point. That's a shame. I want to yeah. be. I want to be in a country that is awake because <laughs> I tend to think I'm awake. <laughs> All right. So we'll go to complete sports now. And uh, uh, Ronaldo Records uh, come looking for me. All right. There's a lot on the front page. We'll encourage you to please grab copies of these. Uh, complete spot as well as all the newspapers that we have reviewed this morning and it is where we, we are going to call it a wrap this morning and I want to say thank you Mr. Olojide and Thanks thank you Dr. Idowi. It's always great to have you both you. Uh, come here to dissect this with me. And this is where we are calling it a wrap as I've said here on Plus TV Africa on this program of the press. We will do this again tomorrow the same time 8.30 here on Plus TV Africa and I am Mama Kaukui. Have yourselves a great day.